All right, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on um, Plus TV Africa. Away from health matters, uh, we'll be giving you an, um, an update of uh, what happened uh, in Kano State with the explosion and the residents and police uh, disagreeing over the cause of the inferno. And uh, let's uh, know about uh, what the casualty figure is about and uh, generally speaking, how the city of Kano, specifically Sabongeri, is right now. We have uh, our correspondent uh, in Kano State uh, joining us right now, Stephen Enoch. Thanks for joining us on The Breakfast, Stephen. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good morning to you, Stephen. So can you tell us exactly uh, what is the situation as we speak since yesterday? All right. So um, when I got to the scene of the incident this morning at 7 a.m., um, residents are angry at the government for saying it was a gas explosion. Many of them believe it was um, something different from a gas explosion. And what I could see in the eyes of the people this morning was just tears and anger. Many of them were not happy with what you know um, came out from you know the authorities yesterday. Also, last night when I you know went around the area, everywhere was silent, and if little business activities were on operating yesterday, and um, this morning I met with a woman whose um, child was affected by the explosion yesterday. She did not want to speak on camera or want the visuals of her child taken. Um, but what I could say is it was not good at all. She had so many injuries in her body and she was moved to tears. She was crying actually, yes. And I, I, I met a man who was just thanking God that he did not lose his child yesterday. He was, you know, <clears throat> fast enough to take his child. And um, currently in Kano, everywhere is calm right now. Everywhere is calm, you know, people are moving, but people are still at the scene of the incident. Many people are in groups discussing and, you know, just you know, airing their opinions as regards what happened yesterday. Yesterday, when um, I was at the press conference uh, with um, the um, with NEMA, um, the team coordinator of Kano and Jikawa said that nine dead bodies were recovered yesterday and um, 10 people were injured as a result of the explosion that happened yesterday in Kano. Also, when I moved um, to some other parts of the city, about three kilometers away, I spoke with some residents who said they heard the vibration as a result of the explosion as far as two, three kilometers away from the scene of the incident. Okay, um, um, Stephen, can you also tell us uh, what you think the situation is? I mean, of course, you're on ground, um, you're, you're in Kanu, and do you agree with the police that um, it's just an explosion? But it, well, it has nothing to do with, um, it's just an explosion that might just be caused by the fact that, uh, you know, humans and those around have been careless. Yes. Well, not just okay. necessarily a terrorist attack. Okay. Um, from what I saw this morning, um, a building, you know, was raised down, down to the um, floor and, you know, some people were affected. A car also was affected. Some other areas were affected. But I'm not, you know, a bomb expert and um, the authorities say it's a gas explosion. But from what I, from what I saw there, um, it looks like people think that it is not a gas explosion. That is what everybody on the streets are saying. So but what are you saying? Um, I'm saying the magnitude was, you know, big and it could be, you know, different from, you know, a gas explosion. But they said it was um, the cylinder of a welding machine that exploded yesterday. So do you have any, I mean, going to the scene of this explosion, is there any cylinder? Is there anything? Do you have like a gas station close to the school? Are there well, um, other, yes. anything that could cause this explosion? Well, when I spoke to a resident who lost um, two of his brothers yesterday, he said there is no um, gas um, station there. Nobody sells gas there, but um, there was a welder there. And um, I don't know. Um, how it happened. Nobody knows how it happened. And um, there's, there's so many narratives flying around, but um, the authorities are strongly saying that it was a gas explosion that happened yesterday. Although from the welder? Hello? The gas explosion would be from the welder? From the welder, yes. From the cylinder of the welding machine, yes. Mm -hmm. but, but did you get to the, you know, where the welder's station is? 
Well, the building was raised down, and uh, I could not see, you know, any um, welding machine around. I could not see any cylinder. But the authorities said they came there and then they took the evidence and, you know, they are investigating the matter right now. But I could not see any um, cylinder um, around or any evidence of, um, you know, um, a gas. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, thank you, um, Stephen Enoch, our kind of state um, correspondent. Uh, we'll be talking to you in the course of the day uh, just in case uh, there are more developments uh, you need to share with us. We do appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right, it is still uh, the breakfast. We'll take a very quick, a very, very quick one uh, break and we'll come back and get an update on the Cardona train resumption in a moment. Stay with us.